Hello friends. It's been a while since I filmed a video. Our world has pretty much fallen apart <laughs> since the last video I filmed. Life as we know it has completely changed forever. How are you? Um, I've missed you guys. I've been thinking about you a lot, but I just, I haven't had anything to say in a video. I just, I just, I don't know. I just felt like I couldn't even really sit down and talk about beauty products. Um, I've been posting on the Instagram account, Green Beauty Theory, a little bit, and also on my personal Instagram, and, um, you know, little snippets here and there. And, um, so yeah. I'm still finding a lot of moments of joy, but to sit down and film a video just felt like, I don't know, I felt like I was in a really deep stage of grief. I feel like a lot of us have been going through that. Just life is so unexpected and un uncertain. And in the last two weeks, everything has changed so quickly that it just minute to minute, day to day. And we're not necessarily getting all the information. And I don't know. I, I've been thinking about like what's appropriate what's not appropriate. And um, I feel like everyone's kind of been in this stage of grief. And um, what's appropriate for one person can be completely not appropriate for another. And so for me right now, I feel like what will feel good this week and maybe next week is just to do some get readies with me. Because then we can chat and we don't have to pretend like, everything isn't constantly changing around us. <laughs> so anyway, I am I just recently got introduced to this brand from Beauty Heroes. They sent me a couple, they sent me a couple of products to try recently. One of them is this brand Mukti. It's their Deep Cleanse Antioxidant Mask. I have fallen hard. Oh, by the way, I just worked out. So like, I'm kind of a mess. <laughs> I'm really hot and sweaty. But this is a deep cleanse antioxidant mask. And I feel like after a workout, when your skin is all, um, the blood is pumping and it's all vasodilated, like it's a perfect time to do a deep cleanse mask. So anyway, this brand is based out of Australia. And um, I've kind of, they sent me two products. I'll show you this one and then also the cream that they sent me. I've kind of fallen hard for this brand. It's, the products are just, I feel like, very sensual and the smells really appeal to me. So anyway, this one is aloe vera, kale and clay, um, coconut oil, macadamia nut oil. I mean, all my favorite things shea butter, cocoa butter, um, and then it's got quite a few gorgeous extracts like cockadoo plum. There was something in here I had never heard of before called silky oil grass that might explain part of the flavor. They've got matcha green tea in here, chia seed oil, carrot seed oil, Roman chamomile, like alfalfa powder, just the things that make my heart go pitter-patter. I'm gonna tell you that, Rich, right now. It is moisturizing, hydrating, clarifying. It's a cream mask, so it doesn't dry down to like a powdered finish. I would say it is very rich for oily, prone skin because it's got coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, but for dry, mature skin, I feel like it is gorgeous. It is a pretty good price, I feel like, too. $66 for 3.5 ounces. So anyway, I thought I would update you, too, how things are going on Maui. So far, we're faring pretty well, which has actually been surprising to me because we've had so many visitors in and out. So I've been tracking this coronavirus situation since the end of January. Just because we have so many visitors in and out of Maui, and my middle son is extremely sensitive to any type of respiratory illness. And like, I don't know how much you know about the coronavirus. I think everybody's an expert on it at this point, but it definitely impacts the lungs. And so 
I just, when I hear respiratory illnesses, respiratory distress, respiratory related, I just get a little paranoid for him right now. You know, the, the, the average cold that will make my older son just be down temporarily for a day will cause my younger son to need breathing treatments and it's just much more intense. So anyway, at the end of January, we had somebody come through here that went back to Japan and tested positive. And then we've had many, 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 so many that they've stopped keeping count of people who have come through Maui and then gone home and tested positive, like almost immediately. So we've had the virus in and out of the islands for, you know, two months now. And so what's interesting, something my brother said to me because he lives in Seattle and I was telling him, I was shocked that Seattle has gotten hit so bad and that we haven't really. And he said, he's like, he said two things. He's like, for one, because we're still having so much sunshine, the virus probably isn't living as long with the UV rays. And then we're also not all as prone to being vitamin D deficient as they are in Seattle. And at the time I like kind of went in one year and out the other, but as time has progressed, I've been seeing a lot of conversation and dialogue about those two things, like the virus being sensitive to heat, um, not being able to survive in the heat as much, and then also people with vitamin D deficiencies being prone to respiratory illnesses. So very interesting. But so far we have like less than 20 cases. The last I heard, we only had one case in the hospital. So we're doing okay. Um, you know, the next couple of weeks here for us specifically are really critical. So we'll see what happens, how things unfold. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go jump in the shower, grab an iced mocha. Extreme close up. All right, so see, I feel like it helps reduce the look of pores. My skin feels cleansed and toned. It doesn't feel overly dry. It feels dry like if I wash my face like a lot, which I had quite a thick layer of the mask on. So um, I just feel like it, it really does nice things for my skin. And when I want something clarifying, it's just enough. So for body, I'm still using the Free and True Body Profit. That was Beauty Hero's May discovery, March discovery. I talked about these two products on an Instagram TV. I feel like it's really lightweight. It has a gorgeous summery scent. It has sea buckthorn in it. So um, it was a great value because you got four ounces of product as well as almost a two ounce face products, so that was a really great box I felt like. Now, most of my skincare fits in this basket. Sometimes it overflows as I'm getting new products. I'm still using and loving the Ranavant Botanic Cleanser. I'm almost done with it, but I have had this unfortunate breakage back here. So I'm constantly, when I squeeze it, getting product leaking out. So I'm almost done with that. I did just order the Honua Pa'akai Cleanser again because I need another AM cleanser. So that's coming because I also have almost finished up this Dr. Hauschka cleansing cream. These are both my AM products. So I'll be getting that Pa'akai cleanser. So that will be fun to have back in my rotation again. So I haven't put anything on my face. Let's do a little Josh Rosebrook hydrating mist because the smell of marshmallows in the morning is just so delightful. Okay, the Blue Alchemy Botanic Retinol. I mentioned this to you, right? That it has potentially a phytoestrogen. I stopped using it two times a day, every day. I am now using it every other night. Just at night, only two pumps. So um, I just still love it. I feel like my skin was looking and doing so well when I was using it that I can't just toss it away. What I've been using consistently is this propolis brightening treatment. I talked about this before too. Propolis, niacinamide, honey, royal jelly, go to Kula. So it's really got all the big guns that I need. And it has a nice lightweight texture. I wish it was a little bit more hydrating than it is, but um, it feels really nice. And it was a great price, like 20 some dollars on Peach and Lily. So really great product there. Now let's get to the important critical step, which is talking about 
the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint versus the Sun Integrity Impeccable Skin. Now, these two have been my go-to routine for months now. They have performed well. I use this as my moisturizer, a little lightweight layer, and then I put this on top as my SPF. People have controversies about whether or not like a CC cream or a BB cream or whatever can be a sunscreen. However, they do call this a sunscreen and the formula is so thick that you are able to use quite a substantial amount. You're able to see the layer form um, and I have never had any problems. It stays put, it doesn't sweat off. I feel comfortable using this as my SPF. Now, let's talk about the Ilia Skin Tint. I've swatched this for you guys before and it's very thick. Um, it's very oil-based, it's, it's lovely. So then, let's talk about my other Moot Tea product that Beauty Hero sent me, which is their Marigold Hydrating Cream. It is another super dense product. Okay, so then let's talk about the routine that I've been using with the Ilia. Because the Ilia is a, is a serum. The pigment and the zinc are not as densely formulated as the Sun Integrity Impeccable Skin. And that's what I can say from right off the bat is like the main difference is that I never feel a drying effect from the Sun Integrity Impeccable Skin because the zinc is very tightly packed in there with the oils. So I'm able to use a very lightweight layer, I'm able to use of the Welida, I'm able to use the Sun Integrity and I never experience dryness. Now my main concern with using this product was gonna be that the formula was gonna be too lightweight and that the zinc was eventually going to be drying out my skin by the end of the day. So what I've been using is the Mook Tea Marigold Hydrating Cream, which is something that Beauty Hero sent me with the Deep Cleanse Antioxidant Mask. It looks like this. It's very dense. It's got a lot of butters. It is for dry, mature skin. I wouldn't recommend it for just any skin type. I read very little. The butters, the cocoa butter, gives it a nice occlusive layer for a base. Okay, so I got the shade Porto Ferro, Porto Ferro, S10. Kind of reminds me of the Gressa and how it like makes a little bit of a mess. Also reminds me of the Gressa and how it feels. I can see this being like extremely ideal for oily prone skin. Like this and a hydrating serum for summer. Cause it is dewy, it just doesn't last. The dewiness doesn't last. So um, as you can see, I have a very dense base coat on there though with the cocoa butter to try to prevent it from getting dry throughout the day. So it will stay pretty dewy. Anyway, one of the problems I have with it is that because I have this dense moisturizer on underneath it, it makes it very prone if I start to glisten at all for the moisturizer to start sweating off and for the product to start sweating off, which is a problem that I don't have with the Sun Integrity Impeccable Skin. It seems a little bit sweat proof. So when I switched out my shade, from Ilya. I decided to go ahead and pick up their Limitless Lash Mascara because I've heard so many good things about it. Here is the brush. Anyway, let's put it on here. It gives really nice separation and it feels great for daytime. Last thing that I want to do is the Ilia Essential Brow. I decided to pick this up too because I was getting low. My Glossier Boy Brow is getting low. I haven't played with it that much. But so far for what I do with my brows, I've been liking it. Lastly, let's do a little Cressa Amelia because it just... 
it just always feels appropriate. Always. And that's that for this video. Questions, comments, how are you doing? I would love to hear in the comments below how you're doing. So anyway, I will see you guys next week for just, I think some just casual get ready's with me for right now, just to keep ourselves connected. And I can't take it much more beyond that. So see you next week, bye.